Sustainability matters at RPC. I'm very pleased to be joined by Derek, who's going to tell us a little bit about all the various sections that we have here. Derek, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Good morning. Good, good morning. So talk us through. I think we're going to have a little bit of a tour, aren't we? Yeah, we'll have a tour around the uh, RPC world here, and I'll focus on one or two points that you can see on our stand here today. Um, so thank you, everybody, for braving the snow and making it here to uh, the Packaging Innovations. So if we start here on the left with uh, our mass mall business, so what you'll see here is the decentralized model of RPC represented by all of our businesses that are currently in the UK. So Massmold is a multi-market uh, provider and here today we're focusing quite heavily on the on-the-go consumption of beverages and this is really our expert center for sports closures. If we move to our plant that we have in Norwich, we have UCP Zella Plastic. The range of products are here, again covering many markets from household to farmer with a special focus on food packaging and dispensing valves. So one of the largest valve producers in the market with our UCP plant. Fantastic. And if we take a little walk around as well, just get a feel for what we have around us and we hit our next stand. So here we have uh, the stand that is for our BPI business. So RPC has not traditionally been associated with flexibles, but the BPI part of our business has uh, many uh, facets. One of them is the flexible packaging. We have two good products on show here today with the uh, Enviro pouch, which is a fully recyclable uh, pouch, thank you, and the Enhance, which is there to protect uh, food. So you can see the little potatoes and eggs popping out. <laughs> nice little potatoes there. And if we uh, keep going, a quite a nice busy stand as well, really good buzz going on here. And we've got BPI ProTech, I see. So we shouldn't walk past this area without making a comment. So another part of the BPI group is the BPI recycled um, plastics. And what I have my hand on here is the dustbin and also the benches. They're not just here for people to sit on. These are actually made from recycled material that RPC collects and makes into a product called plaswood. This plaswood material is then used for creating park benches, jetties, uh, children's play areas, things like that. So RPC really is taking material, waste material from post-consumer and making a valuable product. So something that not so many people know about RPC, so a really good thing to come across here and discover more about. It's not something we're promoting today, but considering the sustainability mind that everybody is in, it's something we make more of a point about with the RPC group. And then we hit Promans. Yep. So with Promans, we have our uh, industrial packaging. So this is where we're making the plastic containers and big packaging for the transportation of uh, heavy duty chemicals and things for that industry. All right, and we're just going to have a little peek as we go, and it's particularly busy around here, but we've also got uh, next Bebo with some food packaging items, I can see. Uh, so the Bebo part of our business is a thermoform business focusing very much on uh, food and beverage packaging. So these are guys that are making uh, a large percentage of the coffee capsules that we have now and that we all use in our home. Excellent. And next to them, we have right at the end of this corner, Superfoss. Yep. So Superfoss, again, uh, a bit of a heavy focus here on food today. What we have here is our Superlock um, product, which you can come and have a look. And here we put the barrier inside the label. So the label provides the barrier for the food product. And what we're talking about here is the sustainable side of protecting the life of food so there's no food waste. So there's some great innovation to be seen here, and that's only half of what we've got with RPC as well. So if we go to the other side of the stand, we've got uh, UCP. So Derek, tell me a bit about those guys. So welcome to UCP in Scotland. This is our plant based in Bridge of Allen in Scotland, and it's one of the uh, only areas uh, in RPC that is still focusing on metal packaging. So here we're making the packaging and the anti-counterfeit systems for the wine and spirits industry. Excellent. And they are next to Corby and Lantressant. Yep. So together, Corby and Lantressant really combine our bottle um, production sites in the UK. And here, again, their focus is multi-market, but there is a particular focus here today on the barrier packaging for food so, and glass replacement. So here you'll see a lot of examples of where we can replace glass packaging, which is heavy, breakable, uh, with more lightweight, sustainable packaging. Excellent. Now we don't have too much time left, so okay. what I'm going to do is just take us down to the Pièce de Résistance because I believe there is something that you have been nominated for with an award, which is very exciting, and that is right over here. So in a few words, if you want to tell us a little bit about uh, the celebrations going so on here. Here we're at the M&H Plastics area of the RPC Group, and the particular focus here today is the Bulldog tube that you can see. Now this is made from polymer that is made from sugarcane. So where we know that there is a uh, carbon um, with normal olefin plastics made from oil, 
using sugarcane is actually carbon negative. So here we're helping the environment in terms of using this product. Fantastic. Derek, thank you so much for your time. And you've been nominated for an award as well. Tell us quickly about that. The Bulldog Pack. Excellent. Thank you, Derek. Enjoy the show.